Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. This is episode 12, the One Pod Challenge. In the last episode, we continue to expand production. We now have two additional bot assemblers, plus the bot part factories that accompany those in order to supply all the parts to them. Unfortunately, we are running a little bit low on some wood products, specifically planks, gears, and wood itself. And one factor in the shortage of wood is that we have to use some for these engines, especially during the droughts, which we are in one right now. But I did get a good comment recently that I should look at getting a bad water dome placed on these bad water spawners. That way we can have it running even during a drought, which would allow us to get some more water, or I mean bad water, going through these power wheels. And then we wouldn't need to have all of these engines running. We might only need to have one or two running to keep enough power. Unfortunately, we're a little bit short on science at the moment, so we cannot unlock this quite yet. Plus, it takes a decent amount of gears, but we can go ahead and start getting a path set up so we can actually construct one. And so the bots can start constructing this when they have the availability. I think we have a decent amount of bot workers, so they should be able to do it. And while they're working on that, we can go ahead and check on the progress for the terrain blocks they've been placing over here. Although, I don't think we actually have any dirt right now, and that's because we have this pause. And that gets back to the power problem, since all of these buildings are running at only 57% of the maximum power they can handle. So we'll have to start pausing some buildings if you want to get this one up and running. So after pausing a few jobs, we're doing a little bit better, 65%. But if we go ahead and get some dirt extracted then the bot should be able to start placing some dirt blocks down here. And then we can get some trees planted on them as well. And another thing we can look at is getting this section leveled out and then try and get some irrigation over here and then get some more trees planted. You just gotta make sure they can reach everything over here, just means a couple staircases need to be placed down. And they're also finishing up placing some dirt blocks over here. We have a nice little farm set up over here. It looks pretty aesthetic. Oh, it looks like I need to get a path set up over here. And so now the bots are actually going to start constructing these stairs all the way down here. In the long run, once we have a little bit more wood supply, I would like to get some sort of containment unit around here and basically have a system that can divert any water, or I should say bad water, in the system directly out here and then allow when there's water flowing to flow into like the outer ring. And probably would also like to flatten off some of these areas, get some dirt blocks placed over here and probably get some overhangs underneath so we can extend the planting area out this way a bit. Looks like the bot's got this third level placed out, so we can go ahead and detonate that. And we can also expand this area with some dirt blocks. We have quite a few projects that utilize dirt blocks at the moment, so they will not get to this one for a while. But at the very least we could detonate all this dynamite, get some irrigation in here, and then have them start planting some trees. And then we can expand it once they've gotten some of this placed down. We're going to do something a little bit different. We'll go ahead and detonate this dynamite. And then we're going to allow this one water dumper to irrigate this whole section. Not exactly the most efficient way since this is a lot of green space lost, but we can go ahead and move the path on top of it once we get some platforms placed down. And then we won't have to worry about having two beavers supply water to this area. And we'll have some oak mark to be planted as soon as the bots finish constructing all this. Fortunately, it looks like we've had a lot more wood be produced and we are actually almost nearly maxed out on planks. Gears are doing pretty good, relatively speaking. So really we just need to get some power going. We are a little bit short on science still. We've only had this one number cruncher and then this control tower is using up three science per hour. But the drought did officially end, so we are starting the new cycle. And then in a day or so we'll have the water wheels that will be spinning back up again and then we can start turning off some of these engines and turning on some of these other buildings. In the short term, we can go ahead and get a few of these small storage containers set up. I want to get some canola oil and some grease stored. It looks like we did manage to construct these couple gravity batteries, but they got used up pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and start expanding our gravity battery stores. We'll go ahead and get three more set up at the moment. Since we have a decent amount of resources, including planks, gears, and metal blocks. And since we don't have enough science to unlock the bad water domes, we'll go ahead and wait on that for now. We can also go ahead and look at lowering the level of the ground beneath these gravity batteries. Looks like we have plenty of power, so we'll go ahead and start pausing these engines. And we can go ahead and start slowly planting some trees. I'm gonna stick to oak since it's the most efficient in terms of the wood per day's grown. And we are still completely maxed out on pine resin. 
And that's actually because I don't think we're actually making any treated planks at the moment. So we'll go ahead and just keep chopping some of these trees down. We still have some workers sitting around. I think they're just lacking the resources, specifically the dirt blocks to place all this. And then we're also lacking the science to get this unlocked. Now that we have nearly all the buildings up and running and we have sufficient power, plus we don't have any vacant jobs and then no unemployed bots. So I'm gonna actually look at getting a second dirt excavator unlocked, which looks like we have all the resources we need for this. So the bots are in the process of getting this dirt excavator constructed. They are placing some dirt down first, which I know using dirt for making the dirt excavator doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I want it to look a little better. It's still hanging off the side of a cliff, but once we get this up and running, we'll get even more dirt. And then there's a lot of terraforming that I want to do in this build, not including the terraforming that I already have planned. I really do want to focus on this area since it is so close to our district center. I think we could really utilize the space over here. And now that we actually have a decent amount of resources other than dirt, we can actually look at getting some overhang set up over here. With this fluid dump right here, it should extend the ring of irrigation out a decent amount. So we can go ahead and have these all placed along here. And then we can also have the dirt blocks placed in this area. And then once they finish this, this is going to look pretty cool. I want to do something similar over here, but first we're going to see how this test goes. And so minus the dirt over here, this is a lot of stuff that the beavers and bots can work on now since we have decent amount of gears, although we don't actually need gears for that. It's just metal blocks, planks, and logs, all of which we are doing fantastic on. And the bots did finish constructing this second dirt excavator, which is fantastic. We have zero dirt right now. So as soon as they get the staircase assembled, they will be able to get this up and running. And we have a few bots who actually need a job, so this will be perfect timing. We still have a slight surplus of power, but I think we'll want to get some more water wheel set up over here. Although I am seeing this is actually pretty dang close to overtopping. So we don't want to do anything that would impact this. I don't think we can actually extend the system any farther. Wow, this is actually like really close to overflowing. Oh, I bet this is the reason why. Let's go ahead and quickly get something set up over here. Well, actually, I think if we just get rid of this one, then maybe that'll help a little bit. Give the bad water a little bit of somewhere else to go. And we don't even need these impermeable floors at the very end. Oh, it is actually overtopping. But now I think it's receding a little bit. Nope, this is this is back up. I don't... Uh-oh. It's overtopping. Okay, emergency pause. I don't actually know what the issue is. I think temporarily I'm going to sacrifice this one impermeable floor. It's going to make our power system drop a bit since these two water wheels won't be getting the full current but it will give an exit point for some of the bad water. Hopefully that should solve at least some of the issues since it is completely overtopping. Oh no. So with that little exit spigot, hopefully it will get all the bad water out of here. Oh, you can see the bad water is glitching on and off on top of here. We're going to actually go construct an emergency spillway over here. We'll only have it be a couple tiles wide. And they'll place in some single high flood gates and then have it set to like 0.9 elevation or 0.95 just so that we know that it won't get all the way up to the top. We'll also go ahead and high prioritize it. We need to make sure the bots are working on that. And it does look like the water levels have receded a bit. So as soon as we detonate this, we'll need to construct some flood gates to keep the bad water in. And then we'll high prioritize all of this, make sure the beavers and bots can get this constructed. Set that all the way up to 0.9. And you know what? This power wheel is connected to absolutely nothing. Since you can see the demand here, and then the demand is zero. So let's go ahead. We can connect that into the back of this smelter. Looks like they finished constructing it. 0.9 is an excellent elevation to be set at. And hopefully the bad water does not overtop too much anymore. So you guys probably know what is up. I'm guessing it has something to do with this outflow being just so much higher than the bad water below it. Although it's only one tile high. Seems like that falling off shouldn't be too big of an issue. It could just be that we compress the water so much over such a long period of time that the bad water starts backing up. If you guys have an idea on what it is, let me know in the comments below. And so we are actually having a few bots accumulate now that we have all these bot assemblers up and running. I just paused one of them so that we can get a little bit of these bot parts saved up for the future. And since we have too many bots right now, but we also just passed 4,000 science recently, so we'll go ahead and get some bad water dome set up. 
We are a little bit short on gears. But we're doing good on explosives and metal blocks. Let's make sure we have all the gear workshops up and running. We can always go ahead and get another one placed down. And now that we have some extra science, we can actually switch both of these. Oh, you know what? So, <laughs> these, we have beavers working in here, but the working hours are set to zero, so <laughs> they've made zero progress. So, I didn't even think about that. But we'll go ahead and switch both of these to bots. So now they'll start watering these, and we have to make sure we get some food processors up and running. You know, one thing I am thinking about, uh, I don't know if the irrigation will actually be able to pass through these levees right here. So we may need to replace them with dirt blocks. Unfortunately, when we remove them, the water will flood into this tunnel, and then it'll go all the way back and then flood this area. So if we do that, we're going to make sure that we will probably temporarily block off this tube station. So this would be useless for a little bit. But then we could go ahead and replace the levees with some dirt blocks. And we can go ahead and get another builder's hut set up. We have a lot of stuff to do and we have some spare bots. So they can go ahead and hop in here as soon as this is constructed. I think that is a good incentive to start looking at getting the containment unit set up over here. It's going to be a pretty big investment. And obviously we will not be able to complete this before the bad tide approaches. But I think getting the foundation of it set up is not a bad idea. So I have the foundation of the diversion system over here, and this is quite a structure. It'll take them forever to make this thing. I mean, there's so many levees involved in it. And so I have some sluices that would basically divert the water into this area once the contamination level is below a certain point. And so the water would flow out when the contamination is low, and then the bad water would block this off. So it would keep filling up and then start spilling out in this direction. And I'll need to replace this whole system over here, which I'll figure that out once we actually get this a little bit more closer to being completed. Because right now they can't actually reach any of this, so I think they can start from this side and work their way out. And if we get some paths set up, they should be able to do that. We can also get some water wheels set up in here. But for this whole system, we'll set it to, I think, the lowest priority. Because as cool as it would be to make this thing, we definitely want to make sure we focus on the much more achievable and smaller tasks. Like this bad water discharge, which we are just missing some gears and metal blocks. We're actually doing pretty good on both of those. And it looks like the bots have actually made some good progress over here. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know what exactly is causing this visual glitch. Maybe it's just the fact that there's dirt blocks above water below. Hopefully it doesn't have any issue with the irrigation. It doesn't look like it so far. But the bad tide has just begun. You can see there's a few bad water spots now popping up. So we can have some more oak being placed down. We'll replace some of the pine over here with oak as well. And then once we get this completed, I think a good thing to do would be maybe move the beavers over here. And not move them into the bad water, obviously. I think I want to make some sort of like city structure on top of this. We could have some pretty cool aesthetics, including we'll have the monument, which is the Earth Repopulator. We'll need to save up a lot of resources for that, but we could actually place that over here. And we do have the hydroponic gardens, which are working. We gotta make sure we get those food processors up and running. I was thinking about making them over here somewhere. Now we could actually get them placed above these buildings since we have the overhangs. So let's go ahead and start looking at that. So we can go ahead and place a few of them above here, and then we can actually connect them in through the back over this area. We'll need to make sure we have sufficient power, which has been something that we've been looking at. And we'll actually set this to be open, which they are actually going to be finishing it right now, it looks like. So now we actually have this fully open, although I'm seeing something is being blocked by bad water. Oh, it's just the showers. Which honestly, we don't really even need these. Well, I guess the beavers are hopping in them. Seems like the pool isn't quite enough to get the wet fur for all the beavers. We did get the dynamite set up over here, so we can go ahead and extend the tube station. Looks like we are dropping a metal blocks a little bit, so I turn on the other two smelters that we had paused. And you can see the bots have started constructing all of these metal platforms. So I set this up a long time ago, so it looks like this two-way station does convey power. Even if it only has a power shaft going into it, which I know some buildings, like I think houses, they don't actually convey power that way. It needs to be directly adjacent to a building that has power. So theoretically, I don't even need this right here to connect the engines to this set of buildings. This number cruncher would be able to convey power across this way. 
Looks like they did finish placing all the dirt blocks over here. So now it is completely squared off. We do need to make sure we have some storage set up for both the raw materials and for the completed food. So we can go ahead and get some underground storage lined up. And I do need to add in some contamination barriers since apparently they switched it so that now you need to actually have them completely around the corner. And this little gap right here between them is enough for the bad water to spread its bad effects around. And it looks like I did not place this in the right spot, so we have to go ahead and get rid of this. And then we'll also want to make sure we switch all of these jobs to the bots. And the bad tide is officially over, and thank goodness, because you can see some of these trees are not doing too hot now. So we can actually go ahead and lower all of this, so we'll be getting a lot of bad water out of here. And then we can have some of the water fill this area up. And it looks like the beavers are happier. Did I add something recently? Oh, it's probably the food. I bet that, yeah, it looks like, are these up and running? Yes, they are. And this guy looks like he's out of mushrooms, so we'll switch him to fermented cassavas. And they are liking all the new food they're getting. Eggplants and corn rations, plus algae rations. Doing pretty good. We also hit two and a half thousand science, so let's go ahead and switch this to be bots. Get that up and running, which will help everything go faster since the grease will give them a nice bonus. We actually don't even have the control tower reaching all the bots, so let's get a second one set up somewhere over here. This honestly looks like the perfect spot. It looks like it reaches pretty much every building. I think it even would still apply to this building as well. So we'll have them construct that, and pretty soon that'll be a good benefit to the bots, plus getting this grease factory up and running. And now we have a million different storages over here. Let's go ahead and select all these to have something to store. Looks like we are running short on planks once again. Uh, and the lack of planks is probably because of the lack of wood. We only have four, six, eight, not, not really that much. Thankfully, we should have some of these oak trees growing up relatively soon. And we have a lot of bots out of energy. Oh, that is because we don't have any wood. Okay, let's pause some of these, pause some of these builders' huts, make sure that we can get some wood over here. We'll get some emergency chopping, and in the meantime, we can also make sure we get all these other miscellaneous trees marked to be chopped down. We can go ahead and pause some of these other engines for now. We do have the gravity batteries, which are helping subsidize our power. And we have so many bots that need to be charged up. There's, this is a huge queue now. Unfortunately, this is maxed out. We can't fit any more chargers here just because of the amount of power that it takes and the amount of power that the engine can produce. Fortunately, it looks like the bots are, for the most part, charged up again. We are still desperately low on wood, but we have nearly as much planted as we can. I think it is worth getting some extra storages set up for wood. And I know we're low right now, but I'm hoping that in the future we can actually get a good stockpile of it. But for now, we can go ahead and low prioritize all of this. Looks like not all the butt parts are being produced. We are running short on chassis at the moment. So I have one of those bot assemblers paused. And that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We went through a few high and low points today, but overall we came out pretty good. Lastly, I did start selecting to have some more dirt placed over here since we were maxed out. But it looks like we're running a little bit low, so we'll have to unpause the other dirt excavator once again. But overall, things are looking good. We are in a good spot. We're a bit short on wood and planks again, but we're doing our best to get the most trees that we can. And it does look like the bots have started working on the bad water diversion system, but this will all be the lowest priority since we have so many other things that we're working on. So if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and drop a like. I really do appreciate it. And with that, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.